In this video, I'm going to explain what EFT is, Emotional Freedom Technique. Welcome to Womb Moon Yoga, the way of life that helps women to be free and joyful in their bodies and their relationships. EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, is also known simply as tapping because we are tapping different end points of meridians on the body with it while feeling into a particular issue. It's helpful with physical pains, emotional disturbances, and it could be really effective in eliminating any kind of self-limiting beliefs, helping us to rewire our brains, to shift our mindsets. So let's see why EFT is so effective. Well, first of all, it's based on modern science. And we know that physics proven that any uh, matter is just energy. So this body, this physical body, which seems so condensed and so dense, right? It's just an energy cloud. And there are different energy channels here, energy centers known as chakras. And also each energy meridian has an ending point, two ending points, and we are addressing just one of them. Um, you might have heard or maybe even experienced acupuncture or acupressure. It's a very ancient healing method. An acupuncturist is using needles to affect particular meridian in order to remove some sort of energy blockage and help you to get your energy flow back into harmony. We are working on a very similar level, but we don't use needles, we just use our fingers and we just do gentle tapping so it's really safe and gentle and gradual and it's self-applied, which is the most important. You can learn EFT and put it into your self-regulation basket as a simple and effective tool that can be used anywhere. I can also teach you some ways of using it that other people don't even know what you're doing. So it's effective. And some researchers are saying that it could be five times more effective and faster than traditional talk psychotherapy. And why is that? In traditional talking psychotherapy, you are receiving clear mental understanding of your problem and you are left with a plan that tells you how to change your thoughts and how to change your behavior. And then you need to use your willpower and discipline and follow that plan. Now with EFT, you are addressing it mentally, you know what you're working on, but you are moving into a deeper layer where you work with energy itself, that subtle energy uh, pattern, because any thought, any emotion or any physical pain is some sort of subtle energy pattern. And you are changing that pattern. And once your energy has changed, then naturally your body your matter, your material body, physical body is following that change without need for much willpower. And sometimes you don't even really need to know, like, you know, all the causes of the problem. 
you can just remove the problem from this level of energy where it's accumulated somatically and then you are a new person you've changed so your thoughts will change your behavior your life will change so EFT works by stimulating the body's own self-healing mechanisms and to make it more efficient you want to be hydrated so drinking a glass of water before you start tapping maybe during the procedure and then after procedure could be very helpful like with any energy techniques you need water in your body to help you to rearrange how the energy flows you may want to stay caffeine free at least for that day when you really work on your energy you want to make sure that you are truly feeling what's happening so it's not just mentally saying it but it's being very much attuned to both emotions and physical sensations and i'll speak more about it in my next video where i teach you how to do the tapping sometimes there is a delayed reaction to the energetic rebalancing so you may not feel great right after you do the tapping you may feel lightheaded spaced out you may feel very tired so it's good to have some extra time for rest and contemplation after your EFT session with a therapist or after your own self-applied EFT session and just be ready to accept everything which is coming up for you and be very gentle with yourself there is no right and wrong but as in any healing process you might experience negative emotions negative feelings or uncomfortable emotions and feelings and it's all part of healing and sometimes what can happen something known as healing crisis or detox crisis it's when you actually feel worse than you felt before you started your energy work just because before it was repressed and now it's coming up to the surface and it of course stirs up a lot in our emotional and energetic bodies so I don't want to scare you but I want to tell you that whatever happens for you it's all just part of the process trust your body you are helping your body to get in tune with what's already there and your self-awareness is what creates that deep inner change which will then be reflected in changes in your physical health, your emotional state, and ultimately your connection with yourself and others. So what EFT could be used for? I mentioned it could be physical pain. And actually that's what I started with. In fact, um, I was introduced to EFT by one of my private meditation students back in, I don't know, 13, 15 years ago. And he successfully used it to help with pains and aches for himself and also for his wife. So it got, you know, I got very interested in how is it possible with just such a simple thing as tapping and I started using it for myself with great success too. So you could really just work on your physical pain. You could also uh, help yourself with addictions, with weight loss, with fears and phobias and I've done quite a lot of this kind of work in the past. 
but uh, mainly what I'm using it now for because working as love coach and working a lot with emotional well-being I use it a lot for creating better emotional uh, balance and helping my clients to improve their self-regulation so they are having better emotional intelligence so it could be used for any emotions anger grief anxiety and fears depression and sadness anything really and also called love pain so anything that you feel where your heart is broken and you just feel lack of love it's a really simple and very efficient practice to help yourself start rebuilding your self-love and the way you relate to others i just want to read maybe just one testimonial from uh, someone who done a session with me again that was quite a while ago but i just kept this and she's saying i found the eft session immediately refreshing i was amazed at how the issues we were tracking were still hanging around in my body and actually still full of emotional charge equally amazing was how they diminished and mostly disappeared after the tapping i couldn't feel them at all after a while and that's again just that experience that most people have just after a very short session after the first time of tapping but the best part of it is that you can use it for yourself it's completely self-applied and easy to learn and i'm going to explain how you do it in my next video thank you so much for watching stay tuned and I'll, I'll see you next week. Namaste.